Good morning. I'm out on the tundra with some ptarmigan right now. I went out this morning looking for some bears and me easily distracted by any wildlife I find them. <laughs> I came across these ptarmigan. So I've been sitting with them, um, getting some pictures of them for the last couple hours. Last night, uh, you know, I was out at that uh, place that I hiked out to waiting for the bears to come in and nothing really came in except one big male bear. He came in and uh, it was awesome because he came out and he started fishing and he was running through the water and he caught a fish. He dove in, caught a fish. And uh, I got it all in slow motion, which was fantastic. I was so thrilled about that. That's one of my main goals this trip is to get some fishing activity in slow motion video. Just because I've got pictures of it, I've got um, some video of it, but I, I don't have any slow motion stuff. So uh, it's one of my main goals this trip. So I was able to get that last night and that was absolutely fantastic. And then he went off into the vegetation and didn't really do anything else the rest of the night. But I noticed that the salmon were starting to come upstream and they were uh, starting to swim through some really shallow spots. So they were kind of just splashing around, making a big ruckus. So I uh, set up my GoPro there in the water and got some video of them as well. And that was a whole lot of fun. I had a great, great evening last night. And I got back to camp really late, uh, which is why I didn't check in last night. Uh, but then about one o'clock last night, a really big storm blew in and it got really, really rainy and really windy. But then the storm broke uh, right after sunrise. It's still really cloudy today and I've got some rain clouds starting to come in again. And uh, so I got out as soon as that storm broke. I got out just to try to see what I could get going out for bears. And like I said, I got a bit distracted by these ptarmigan here. But, you know, these guys are one of the main reasons I love coming out here. I love photographing the bears, but almost as much as I love photographing the bears out here, these ptarmigan, they're just so pretty, such gorgeous, gorgeous birds. And uh, I was able to photograph quite a few this morning, get video of quite a few this morning. Uh, somewhat brief encounters with a couple different groups, but um, like I said, I've been with various groups for a couple of hours out here and it's it's been fantastic. They've settled down now, so uh, I think I'm gonna keep going and uh, see what else I can find. I might actually head back to camp real quick and get some late breakfast. I left this morning without breakfast just because I wanted to see what I could get before the next wave of this storm hits. And it, the wind's already starting to pick up a little bit, so um, yeah, I might go grab some breakfast real quick just because I'm pretty hungry and then uh, see what else we can find. It's been a fantastic morning though and a wonderful, wonderful evening last night. I had so much fun with that bear fishing and it's more stuff like that that I'm hoping to get this trip. And uh, I guess we'll just, we'll see what we get and I'll take whatever I can get just like these ptarmigan out here. But yeah, I'm gonna get going and uh, see what else we can find.
everyone down here by the river right now um, just looking for uh, bears to photograph I didn't find many only like 16 <laughs> let me show you all right so we've got some down there got one fishing in the middle there Another one right there. Just two more over there. Just two more over there. See, so yeah, there's no shortage of bears down here this evening. But uh, it's so overcast that I just don't have a lot of light to work with with these guys. And they're so dark, and the water is reflecting the uh, lighter clouds. So there's just a lot of contrast. Um, between the water and the bears and so there's there's just not a whole light I can't even talk there's not a whole lot of light for me to work with so I'm really just watching them more than anything just spending some time with them it feels a lot later than it actually is it's about uh, 10 o'clock right now but it feels later because it's getting so dark um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not that late, honestly. But I think I'll just spend some more time with these guys here, and then I'll probably head back to camp and call it a early evening, um, just again, because I don't, I don't have a ton of light to work with here. I might try getting some like silhouette shots of them in the water, but there's just so many of them down on the bank. I don't really want to go down uh, it can be hard to see them in the vegetation there and there's so many in here it's just so thick I don't want to stumble on one on accident so I, I might just chill here and watch them for a little bit it's always just fun watching them I was able to uh, come out tonight and as I was walking the river I saw out on the tundra there were two bears just kind of play fighting and I've got two more starting here a little bit, so I might get some of them. But there were two off in the distance just kind of play fighting. So I uh, snuck up on them a little bit. And not snuck. I approached them cautiously. Uh, but not too close either. Um, but I, I held back a little bit and got some video footage of them. Just kind of playing around, wrestling. It's always fun watching them wrestle. It's... It's... Uh, just so entertaining watching them play fight like that. But uh, I got some footage of them doing that. And then, yeah, I came down here by the river. And I've just been watching these guys. I had one curious bear kind of come in for a second. But uh, then he made a big loop around me and went around. I think he's actually one of these ones that's play fighting right here. So I might get some, some video footage of these guys. The light's easier to work with when they're out on the tundra like this with this this light versus in the water. So I think that's what I'll do. Today's been really good though. You know, I had those tarm again this morning and then another storm rolled in. I went back to camp, got a really late breakfast, early lunch, and then a big old storm rolled in and it rained pretty much all day up until around dinner time. Then I got a hefty dinner and uh, came back out and that's, that's how my day's has been and it's it's been great there's real chill in the wind tonight it's it's really cold you probably see my nose dripping sorry but uh yeah it's been really cold tonight and uh got a wind that's starting to pick up again so i'll uh, spend some time with these guys out here wrestling around maybe i'll hop in with them no i'm just kidding um and then i'll head back to camp and I think call it an early night, maybe do some reading before I go to sleep. But I am quite tired too, because of that storm last night, so maybe I'll just go to bed early, I don't know. Either way, I'll check in with you in the morning, and uh, I'll finish my night off here, and see you guys tomorrow.
Good morning. I'm currently waiting out another storm right now. It blew in last night around one o'clock and it's just been kind of rainy and windy ever since. But it finally seems like it's starting to break a little bit. Uh, it's not as crazy as it was, so I'm just waiting for it to break and then I'll head out and see what I can find. It was actually really, really cold last night too. And this morning so far, which is why I've got my nice llama hair hat on, but uh, you know, it's, uh, you just come to expect the weather like this out here. There's always, you know, pretty crazy weather out here. So I just expect that each year when I come out, I expect a lot of rain and a lot of wind and some pretty chilly weather. You know, last night was awesome though. Uh, after I checked in with you, I started my way back to camp and I saw those um, bears that were wrestling around and so I spent some time with them and a third bear came and joined them. And they just kind of formed this little triangle of bears kind of wrestling around with each other. They would take turns. It really just reminded me of watching Blondie, Tuco, and Angel Eyes on the end of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's just, it was fun watching them. And now I want to go watch that movie. It's a great movie. Highly recommend it. Anyways, um, yeah, I had a good, really good time with them. And then I uh, came back to camp and spent the last 20 minutes or so of, of the day reading. And then I went to sleep and, and the storm woke me up. So... Uh, yeah, just waiting for it to break, and then I'll go out and get some get some animals if I can find anything. A lot of times when the weather's like this, especially with the wind, I've noticed that the bears don't like the wind. The rain, they don't mind so much, but uh, if there's a lot of wind, they don't seem to like it, just because they can't smell as well, and they rely so heavily on that sense of smell that uh, if there's too much wind blowing scents away from them too quickly, they don't like it as much, but we'll see what happens. I'll uh, just be here waiting it out.
everyone, how's it going? It's been a while since I checked in with you, I apologize. I think the last time was yesterday morning when that storm had picked up. And uh, honestly, that was just an intense, crazy storm. It finally stopped uh, about three hours ago or so, around dinner time tonight. Um, so yeah, this is the next day, night. Uh, it's just after 11 o'clock. I stayed out pretty late tonight uh, just because that storm was so crazy all of today and all of yesterday that the wildlife was just hunkered down. I wasn't able to get much. I got a little bit last night, uh, just a bear fishing. And then when that storm broke tonight, I rushed out to see what I could find. And uh, some of the bears were starting to come back to the river a little bit. And so I was able to get a little bit of them fishing. And uh, then on my way back to camp, I ran into a group of ptarmigan and the setting was just gorgeous. There were these mountains behind and uh, it was already pretty dark, but I did what I could with the light that I had and it was just stunning. What a beautiful, beautiful setting. And you know, I just, I love ptarmigan so much. But uh, you know, the bears, like I said, they're starting to come back towards the river a little bit. But they're at this point, and I've noticed this before, where they just get kind of bored and lazy almost. Um, there's not enough fish in the river yet. So all the big males, they're kind of dominating the majority of the fishing spots. So all of the uh, sub-adults, all the younger bears, they're not really actively fishing unless the big males move off so it's at the point where all these sub adults they're just kind of hanging out on the tundra napping a lot wrestling around like they were the other day um, but yeah there's just a lot of lounging and <laughs> napping and being just kind of lazy until enough fish come where the bears can really fish just anywhere in the river rather than just these hot spots that the big males are sitting at. But uh, even so, you know, it's been great with these uh, bigger males. It's just funny watching them fish. They all have their own methods. Some of them are really lazy and just literally want the fish to come right to them. They don't even chase after them. That's the guy I was watching tonight was very much like that. It's just kind of funny. But uh, it, it's just so much fun being out here with these beautiful, beautiful bears and the ptarmigan. And, I'm I'm so glad that the storm broke, <laughs> I'll be honest. You know, I've come to love the the wind and the rain out here, but after, what is it, I've been out here for almost a week now, and I think four and a half or five days of that, or maybe even more, I'll have to go back and look at my journal, but the, the majority of the trip so far has just been intense rain and wind and all the animals are just kind of hiding so as much as i love it it's so good that the storm has broken but uh yeah i'm just soaking it in right now it's getting really cold actually uh there's a little bit of a breeze and it's really cold so i'm going to uh take my contacts out wash my face get my teeth brushed and then i'm hopping in my sleeping bag because it's pretty chilly, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Mm -hmm. 